dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Hi. Welcome back to another L and J adventure. Um, where are we off to? We are seeing the Eras tour tomorrow. We're so excited. So we're here in Liverpool. Yes. Uh, we're going to night two uh -huh. on the 14th of June. So for those of you who know, we're obviously predominantly like a Disney vlogging channel, theme parks, that kind of thing. But Jenny and I suppose I are also Swifties. So we like Taylor yeah, Swift. Yeah, we are. We're Disney adults um, and Swifties. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been converted in the, like the last year or so. But yeah, basically, for those who don't know, Taylor Swift obviously been doing the Eras tour across the mm -hmm. world. Um, and she's come to the UK. She's just done Edinburgh. And she's now uh, spending three nights here in Liverpool. And we've literally just arrived on Merseyside. Yeah, we've just pulled up to um, a car park by the docks, haven't we? Yeah, um, it's called like the King's Dock car park, something like that. I can't something remember. like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, oh, what time is it? Half one. Um, get we, a bit of lunch. We left ours at seven this morning. We're from obviously down south. We're so tired. <laughs> we are tired, but it's been, it's not been too bad a journey. The weather is like pretty bad, isn't it's it? It's terrible, yeah. When we woke up this morning back in uh, sunny Suffolk, it looked really nice, blue sky. We got to Liverpool, nope, cloud, yeah. rain. Um, so yeah, not the greatest of weather, um, but we're really excited to be here. We weren't sure at first whether to vlog this or not, um, but we thought, well, hopefully it should be quite a good little mini vlog for you guys at least. Obviously the concert itself, going to be a lot of copyrighted music there. Um, However, we do have hospitality. Yes. It was the only accessible seating we could get for any date in the UK. We even looked in Europe as well. We, mm -hmm. we registered for codes for literally every city. Um, and we did get a code for Edinburgh, but the tickets were coming out at £699 each for genuinely the back row. Um, and we were like, oh, I can't afford that. Um, so Liam, the little sweetheart he is, he was trying to ring different venues just to be like, look, like we have a code, but with the accessibility, it's so much harder. Because um, I did the maths a while ago, and Wembley Stadium only one less than one percent of their entire seating is accessible, mm. which is just really hard when you have like accessibility needs, and you want to go and see a show or a football game or something. So yeah, we got lucky that you rang and um, Anfield were the only ones who answered for a start and then put you on a wait list, didn't they? Yeah, and I got a call back the following day, and um, it was like, oh, Mr. Flynn, we've got some tickets for you for Taylor Swift at Liverpool. I was like, oh great. And they were like their hospitality, so I was like, mm, went, okay, oh, okay, great. <laughs> um, and she, and then obviously gave us the price and everything, and was like, oh, do you want to do it? And I was a bit like. Mm, uh, let me have a speak to my fiance, a word to my fiance, and they were like, "There's a hundred people behind you, Mr. Flynn. Can you please answer?" So I was a bit like, mm, "I don't know." But you're just like, "I'm um, just stay on the line. Give me thirty seconds." And you said to me, "And you're like, should we do it?" I was like, "Yeah." But anyway, we booked it. To give you a rough idea, I can't remember the exact, but we actually got quite a good deal. It was about four hundred pounds for the two of us. It was something like hospitality, twenty or which yeah. is obviously very expensive for an event or a concert. Yeah, definitely. Not, not obviously looking past that, but when you consider one, it's the year's tour, which pretty much sells sells out pre general admission everywhere. On top of that, we have got hospitality. Even though it's accessible hospitality, we'll have access to the lounge. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty good deal, really. Yeah. So that was kind of Jenny's like Christmas present, birthday present from me last year as well. So no, we're really excited. Um, obviously, in this vlog, we'll show you a little bit of Liverpool. Um, we are actually planning today to go to the Beatles exhibition. We booked tickets for that. Um, going to look a little bit around the is it Royal Albert Docks? It's mm -hmm, called. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, the weather's not very good. We're going to grab a bite to eat um, shortly, probably for lunch, and then we've got dinner booked later. And then also. Um, um, yeah, we'll show you obviously the hospitality, the lounge, yeah. a bit of Anfield. And then if you are going to see Taylor Swift, whether it's, you know, kind of in Wembley, Cardiff or whatever coming up, um, hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea of maybe what to expect from the concert and the yeah. build up to it. But we have seen the concert movie, didn't we? We, we did, saw that yes. when we were in Disney Springs because that was when it came out. So yes, that was really did. fun. Yeah. Uh, um, I think we've watched it like at least four times on Disney Plus. So we, have, but... we know what's coming. There's no surprises. But we'll give you more on like the concert specifically and our thoughts on Taylor Swift and our, our favourite songs, what surprise songs and stuff we want kind mm -hmm. of probably tomorrow before the concert itself because um, we are staying nearby and we've arrived the day before. So her first performance to live boys tonight yeah. uh we're not going to that tonight we're going to tomorrow Do you want to try and get last tickets? Uh, mm, no, joking, I <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah anyway we're, we're going we're going tomorrow night and we just thought we'd get up here early today one to take the stress out of the traveling mm -hmm. and all that but also see if we can see a little bit of liverpool um the day before but yeah like i said i don't know how long this vlog will be but 
thanks for joining us um for those who don't know the channel i am liam i'm jen and uh yeah i hope you join enjoy this vlog and join us along for the ride to see taylor swift years tour here in liverpool Just a little bit. <laughs> Certainly not brought the weather with us, have we, from uh, Suffolk? Do you know what though? The rain smells like that warm summer rain. We are in June, so I would hope for summer weather, but if this is all we're going to get, then let's just grin and bear it, eh? Yeah, we're going <coughs> to. Oh, my voice broke there. Um, we're going to linger around the Royal Albert Dock area because our Beatles exhibition slot is like just over an hour I think so might have a little wander maybe grab something to eat and then obviously we're eating um, along here at a place called Rosa later too but yeah it's not nice weather so I kind of want to get indoors somewhere got the wheel here as well but no, I yeah I don't know what it's called actually but um yeah I don't know about you Liam I, it's not running but I wouldn't fancy it anyway if I'm honest no I yeah I wouldn't want to be getting on there right now do you know I've never done the London Eye I've never done anything like that and uh it's like the one in um Disney's California, is it in California Adventure? Yeah, Mickey's or? Death Wheel. Yeah, it looks a bit too scary for me. <laughs> so we've made a quick stop after braving the elements. Um, and just next to the Beatles exhibition, there's a place called Lunya, Lunya Lita. Uh, it's like a little tapas place. So we've obviously got dinner booked at this Thai restaurant later on. But we thought we'd grab like a light bite now, uh, just something to see us through. So yeah, show you what we get. Our drinks have arrived, and what is it we've got? What have we ordered? Um, we ordered the lunch menu, so you get one choice of a tapas thing, I don't know what you call it, dish, um, tapas, bravas, and a drink. You got the uh, house wine. I did indeed. I got a Diet Coke, and then we went for the chorizo uh, and the chicken wings, chicken wings. both yeah. with patatas, bravas, and then we ordered some olives on the side as well. So. Excited, and then the Beatles nice. exhibition is literally next door, isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited to do that. But yeah, it's nice in here, cozy little atmosphere, and uh, yeah, playing lots of different music, which is fun We've too. Seen so many people already dressed up clearly for tonight's show, and it just oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Teenage me is just oh, singing away. Actually, yeah. eleven-year-old me is singing away. Are you ready for it? I am ready for it. <laughs> the food has arrived and looks amazing. I'm gonna eat all of the chorizo, just heads up. No, it looks so good. And they're playing Taylor Swift, so the vibes are just... Yeah, there's a lot of Taylor Swift fans in here, you can see. Oh, look at this. So we're pretty much done here. Um, Jenny's still eating. I've been told I can't show her on camera eating again like I always do. Um, but no, food is really good. It's really good. Um, the chorizo, they gave us loads of it. And it's actually quite good value, the lunch deal. It was like 15 pounds. Um, and what was it? You got the patatas bravas, one tapas and one drink. So Jenny got wine, I got a Coke. Um, so yeah, it's not bad value really, and it's just like fill the spot for us for now um, before we obviously head over to Beatles exhibition, and then we'll probably have a wander, maybe go to a few shops nearby if we can find any. Uh, obviously the weather's not great at the moment, but we'll see what we can do. And then, uh, and then yeah, we're off to Rosa, the Thai restaurant, for dinner tonight. But I don't want to think about food right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully the weather will ease up a little bit. Beatles exhibition is supposed to be really good. I'll show what I can, maybe do a bit of montage. Um, I think you get like an audio set that you can listen to as you get shown around the um, exhibition. Um, it's got like costumes and stuff they've worn. Hopefully you can hear me okay, the music's quite loud. Um, but it's supposed to be really good and it got really good reviews. It cost us about £16 for a carer's ticket, so only about £8 for the two of us. Uh, £8 each, really good. Only issue is it sounds like their lift is out of order. It said on the website after I purchased the tickets. So I might have to carry the um, wheelchair down the stairs and Jenny might have to do a few steps, which is an ideal, but nonetheless, should be a good experience. Um, obviously the Beatles from Liverpool, so I thought it's something we should do, one of the main touristy things here. But yeah, we're all, uh, we're, we're very much excited. Lots of uh, Swifties about from what we can see. Um, but yeah, did you enjoy that? Really good, yeah, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, really nice in here. Definitely it's Lunya Lita. I definitely, um, it's on the Royal Albert Docks here in Liverpool. And uh, yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. We've arrived at the Beatles exhibition. There's a little photo op as soon as you get in apparently. And I think you get these audio sets to take you around the exhibition in different languages. So we'll pick one of them up in a minute too.
with the, uh, the Beatles Story exhibition. Uh, did you enjoy that? Yeah, that was really good. Learned a lot. It yeah, was really fun to see things. I couldn't believe that the like, Beatles career essentially only spanned eight years. Yeah, right? they only recorded short. for eight years, but they wrote over 200 songs in that time. So it's like, really impressive. Yeah, but I got a little thing at the start where you could get some photos. They were quite pricey. It was like... 20 pounds for one and a digital and then it was like 32 for four so we decided not to but there is that option and uh, there's a little cafe at the end here as well which is quite cool obviously themes to the Beatles as well so yeah I definitely recommend it it's um, a really good little sort of tourist attraction to learn more about Beatles and obviously we got the souvenir guide as well which I think I said earlier uh, it was two pound fifty uh, on top of our ticket which was 16 pounds for the two of us because we got the carers ticket but yeah I have to say Really enjoyed it. I've talked Jenny into something. <laughs> We're gonna get some good views up there though. You ready for the wheel of death? I can't believe you talked me into this. We saw it spinning and I said, oh no, oh it's going. I thought it went the other way. I know. It only cost £11 because we got a carer's ticket, but it's swinging well, already. I think she gave us a student price because it said students with a valid ID 11 or normal adults. Oh my God, I hate the shaking. Um, it's 13. So I don't know if she just gave us a discount. Yeah, normal adult price 13. Was kids, were kids free or certain under? Under two, under two. I think. But apparently it's 10 minutes around three times with a stop at the top. I don't know if you can see this in the video, it's shaking. Oh, Knowing me, I won't be able to watch it back. No, you won't. She, she couldn't even watch Dumbo back from our Disneyland Paris no, vlog. No, violently so, ill. That tells you that. But yeah, oh, we're going up. Oh, Might be able to see Anfield. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> you can hear the wind up here. I hate you. The engagement <laughs> ring's coming off. Oh, don't throw it down there. Oh, no. oh, At least give it back to me. Oh, this is horrible. I wish the sky was a bit clearer and we'd have a better view, but... Liam, this is disgusting. Oh, my ears are popping. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're okay. We're stopping now. We're yeah, they stopped. said it stops at the top. Oh. And there's uh, the Royal Albert Dock. So that down there is where we just were. There's the Beatles story, the exhibition, and right next to it, that's uh, Leilita, the uh, tapas place. Um, and then, yeah, you can see the Taylor Swift, um, like, statue we spotted already over there it's the one for lover is that right yeah that is correct <laughs> come on engage with the vlog <laughs> jenny did i think i'm gonna die before i even get to the era store we get another two laps jenny said to me on the way here she was like i definitely I, I wouldn't be doing this if it was just you and me so i'm doing it for the vlog so hopefully you guys appreciate it Jenny literally just said, I hope they don't offer us a uh, another go round for free. Turns out they didn't even ask us. They've sent us round for time. We've playing So Long London now as well. So I want to get down and, and enjoy, vibe, enjoy dance. the Swift music. But it's shaking. This is the fourth time we've been sent around. We got an extra go. I swear to God. That 11 it's pounds is looking like a right bargain. If, if it starts going to fifth, I'm hitting the emergency button. <laughs> and I'm saying, get me the hell off. Yeah, so you can contact the staff although they didn't really look like they were ready no, to answer. No, they're having a nap. <laughs> it's fine, I'm off having a good time at work but I feel like I'm dying. But there, uh, you can see how what the wind's like just by the uh, the water in the docks. Is that like some sort of cargo boat there? It's a funky looking boat. I wish I was on that instead. Do you though? I'd rather be on a boat than in the sky. I'm gonna die. Don't know if you can see that. Puts a skyliner into perspective doesn't it? <laughs> That's true. And that, by the way, is the Emerson MNS Bank Arena. And someone in the uh, Leilita restaurant earlier told us Girls Aloud performing there soon. Um, they get a lot of music acts there as well. So. Mm -hmm. It's too small for Taylor. Yeah. So that is what we just did. We are right at the very top. Highlight of the trip, Jenny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As we got off, the off, um, you said, oh, I'm better now. I'm on the ground. The operator's like, oh, it's not that bad. I was like, it absolutely is with the wind feeling like you're just going to blow off and fly away. Well, you survived, didn't you? Just. I enjoyed it anyway. So yeah, the wheel of Liverpool. There you go. So we did consider going over there towards like the town centre bit, but it was a bit of a trek. And obviously it's just sort of shops, isn't it? That we've seen yeah. before. Um, but we are at the dock still. And uh, yeah, we just thought we'd stop here. I believe where we're going later, um, Rosa's Thai restaurant is kind of across that side. So we thought maybe we'll make our way around that bit, see if there's any shops or anything to explore. Um, and yeah, go from there. But 
We're not letting the weather dampen our spirits, are we? No. Not at all. Change of plan. We're going to head into Liverpool One, which is a shopping centre, but there are some of the Taylor Swift monuments in there, aren't there? I think yeah. Reputation's in there. Yeah, I think so. And we've got a couple of hours to kill before uh, dinner, so we're going to wander into there and look at the upside down house. Liam thought it was really clever finding a shopping centre to like kill some time in. Go inside the shopping centre, get dry, they it's said. It's all outside, it's all an outside one. But you know what, it stops the wind, so we actually don't mind. And it has stopped raining, to be fair. So. To be fair, it's just windy, isn't it? It is, very like, windy. I know, from the bloody Liverpool <laughs> wheel of death. Uh, um, but no, highlight of fun. the day. Yeah, highlight of the day. Mm. But no, we're going to, I guess, Browse a few shops. Yeah, by the docks there was just it was all food places. So it was we just, just wanted cafes to kill some and time. restaurants really, which mm. is obviously good for the evening. But when you've got a couple of hours to kill before dinner, uh, it's not ideal. So yeah. we might just have a little wander. Probably not going to show a lot, but yeah, we're in the Liverpool one anyway. Jenny's decided to lead us into Kenji, mainly to look at all the squishy toys probably. <laughs> yeah, it's like Peggy. Yeah, it's Peggy. Peggy. Just stopped by the front of Builder Bear, and you've got all of these uh, bears themed to different Taylor Swift eras. I believe in red. You're quite confident red might be one of our uh, one, one of the uh, acoustic songs. I think so. Uh, during the Grand Liverpool Field, yeah, uh, I think set, so. but yeah, everywhere's ready for Taylor Swift. As Jenny said, it's all kicking off in here. It's uh, very lively, but we've now just found the monument for Speak Now, so. Sure, we'll get a photo of Jenny, maybe me as well. Um, but yeah, you enjoying finding the monuments? It's been really fun. Like you said, it's really nice to see how every like local shop and like yeah. community has just embraced the, the Swifties. There was even Taylor Swift themed bagel stuff going on, so fully embraced it. So we had a bit of a situation with the wheelchair. We'll give you a little story time when we're Which we'll go into, into later. Our... But for now, we are at Rosa. Guys, it was a ride. But yeah, yeah we're here now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna have a cocktail. Um, but yeah, we're here at Rosa, uh, a Thai restaurant at the docks. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the menu. So this is obviously a Thai inspired restaurant and we were just looking at uh, some drinks. Jenny's looking at the Thai, uh, the passion fruit bubble tea. She's kindly offered to drive. Uh, so I'm going to make the most of that and get the Melon Basil Smash, which is gin, citrus, melon liqueur and Thai basil. So it sounds really good. Nice and refreshing. So I actually ordered wrong for Jenny. She did want the passion fruit and jasmine bubble tea. So I ordered her the Thai lemonade. To be fair, um, um, I did say the lemonade sounded really nice and it tastes really you good. Went, you went to the toilet and I forgot my mind went back. I know you're fine. I want it both, so you're good. I got the Melon Basil Smash. It's really nice. It's very green. Very green. Is it very melony? Yeah, it is actually. It's nice. And the basil you can taste quite strongly too. Oh, wow, nice. What is it? Gin? Yes, gin. Yeah. Oh, nice. So Liam's just washing his hands after dealing with the wheelchair drama, which, yeah, we said we'd tell you about later. But anyway, these are the pumpkin crackers, which look really interesting. They're more yellow than more crackers. Smell like pumpkin a bit. Oh, they're really good. So as I said, along with the pumpkin crackers, we also ordered some chicken satay to share, um, which also looks really good. Do you want to have the first bite? Yeah, shall I? Let me give it a sniff. Oh, yeah, that's really tender. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, Liam's come back and he caught me eating one, so. <laughs> we got some pumpkin crackers. Yeah, I said the pumpkin. Got some chicken satay as well to start. Mm -hmm. Give it a sweet chili. It's literally the same consistency, exactly. But a bit sweeter. Pumpkin, but it's nice. Yeah, a little I think bit sweeter. You can smell it a little bit. Yeah, a tiny bit. Nice though. Yeah, really good, right? Our main course has arrived. I know, it's so quick and everything smells amazing. Yeah, it's really good in here. Um, it's a chain, isn't it? We just discovered yes, that they've got chain. some like yeah. in London and that. But you've gone for the red curry I have, with yeah. jasmine rice, mm -hmm. and then I've gone for the. Um, How is it so far? Really nice. It's not too hot, so I'm really appreciative of that. It's still got a bit of a kick, so I think if they'd done it the way they normally do, my head would be like. Yeah. But, so it's normally a three chilies, but I assume they've marked it down to a two. And oh, mine's a two. I'm kind of. Oh, Liam, you made a mess. Yeah. It's still nice. <laughs> but, yeah. It's very nice. I'm grateful they toned it down because it's still quite a kick to it. It's got a lovely warmth to it, isn't it? Mm. 
So we've had our mains. They were really nice. Really good, yeah. My mouth was a little bit on fire, but it's not too bad. Um, I used some ice to cool me down. Um, <laughs> he did, he pushed it out, it's cocked on his boat. We have ordered dessert, so um, you've ordered the Thai churros, which I might have one of. It comes with condensed milk. I know, I'm so excited. You can have one of my churros. But it's a very small amount, because uh, mm -hmm. obviously condensed milk is very sweet. Like really sweet. And then yeah. I've gone just for the ice cream. Well, it says it's vegan, technically, so mm. I've gone for one vanilla and one coconut. Um, I had no, all of them separately. So they asked us, I don't know if I showed that very well, to use the QR code here. Um, just to order our dessert, and I've actually already paid the bill for the um, QR code as well, so it's really easy. Um, but yeah, I, I just um, added it on there. Yeah. It's nice. but for our uh, crackers, chicken satay, two mains, a cocktail, a lemonade, rices with the mains, rices with the mains, and then the churros and ice cream for dessert. It's come to eighty pounds, so forty pounds each, which in this economy <laughs> is not bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check out a Rosa if you can. I think there's a few of them around. Yeah, really um, enjoyed it. There's a couple in London and stuff as well by the looks of it. So, but yeah, really enjoyed it um, and looking forward to dessert. So the app took it quite literally that I wanted two scoops and put them in two separate bowls. Oh, so extra washing up for someone. The but smell of them. They're, they're nice. Cinnamon sugar. And then they could go on, have a bite. Well, very hot. They look like yum yums. Oh, they're lovely. Try some condensed milk. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's great. I need uh, I need this to cool my mouth down still, I think. So I assume actually I can't tell which one's which. Vanilla coconut. Vanilla coconut, do you reckon? I've got the little black bits in it for the vanilla. Ah, uh, good spot. And like that we are, believe it or not, in a Premier Inn in Warrington. Random, I know. Um you probably all probably know what a Premier Inn looks like, but just for the fun of it, why don't we do a quick room tour? Come on in. And our room number is themed. Love it. 22, Love Taylor it. Swift. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we have our amenities. Um, got a hairdryer. I think this one's up. Yeah, there you go. A mirror light. We've got a tall mirror. We've got a TV. Got a decent sized bed. We have Jenny's, uh, what do you call it? Dressing table for the morning, getting ready for the years tour. Well, Some funky was, artwork on the wall. I was thinking this. It's Designed for, right? Right. I can't see myself in the mirror. You just have to guess. I just have you to guess. You can see your... Oh, no, yeah, I see no. <laughs> Really funnily, where we've been put as well, just outside is our car. I know. So, like, we can keep an eye on it. Yeah, Liam was like, oh, at least I know we locked it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, as always, with a Premier Inn, you've got your mugs for your tea and coffee in there. You've got a fan, which I'm really happy with, because I need to sleep with, like, the window open. I get really hot when I sleep, so I'm happy with the fan. And we'll see more of that tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, and then you need a temperature gauge and a bathroom. Ooh, shower, nice. Ooh. Very good. And there you go. It's really clean. It's nice. Very clean. And, like he said, they're fully booked. Yeah, he said they complete the full time. So we picked at Warrington, yeah. didn't we? Because yeah. it's half hour drive from Liverpool. Well, it was so much cheaper. But it's like, like a quarter um, of the price, wasn't it? When we went to, obviously we got the tickets that day and then we were like, ah, oh, we won't lose them. Mm -hmm. um, we were like, oh, let's look at hotels. And the ones all near Anfield were like, literally. Aggressive. At the time, like, like seven, eight hundred cheapest. It was ridiculous. So we were like, screw that. We booked Premier Room I think you, like a half hour away. Yeah, you could get it for cheaper, cheaper now. now. But I'm happy where we are, to be fair. But yeah, oh, it, it, like nice. you said, once you get out of Liverpool, it's like a 15 minute drive. Um, but as soon as we got on the motorway, it was 15 minutes. So it's easy. But yeah, he said they're fully booked. And I said to Jenny, I was like, there's no way a Premier Inn off the like main road in Warrington is fully booked on a random Thursday yeah. unless it's to do with Taylor Swift. So it's got to be. Lots of people might have had the same idea as us. Swift effect. Swift effect. So obviously the main part of this vlog um, is going to be the Eras tour, Taylor yeah. Swift concert at Anfield tomorrow. But we thought we'd just give you a taste of Liverpool. I know we probably didn't mm. do loads of things there, but we did the Beatles exhibition today, which was really good yeah, fun. It was really fun, wasn't and it? Their like, lift was out of order, which I think we mentioned, which was fine. But like it only flashed up on their website after we booked tickets. Mm -hmm. So if I hadn't have been able to do any stairs, that would have just been really annoying. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Um, especially, like I say, I'm pretty sure I got the notification about that after I'd already paid. Mm -hmm. But there you go. We got down and it was good. Uh, tapas was brilliant for lunch. Yeah. Uh, we then went into the city centre and had a little look around. We found some of the monuments and yeah. stuff. And then we had a little bit of a, an issue. So, right, story you... time. Oh, Christ, you don't want to be that close. Um, if you saw our Manchester series um, last year, 
Yes, or the year be. before? Last no, year. last year. Last year yeah. um, we had an issue with the wheelchair then. That if you don't know the anatomy of a wheelchair, I'll give you a little demo because some people don't know what they look like. You get the really big wheels. That's usually the ones that someone would like push themselves in, you know, roll along. Um, and you get the little ones at the front for balance. Um, and it's, it's like a tyre on a bike, like the rubber bit just mm -hmm. popped off the wheel. Um, which doesn't sound as dire as it was. It was absolutely pissing it down with rain. It was freezing cold and we couldn't get it back on because it's just so awkward. Um, and oh my God, it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Yeah, so basically I tried at first to try and fix it back on, but it was very windy. It was raining. Mm -hmm. It was very hard to get like a proper grip on it. There was nowhere to sit um, for me. So, so it was, just was My terrible. instinct was I saw a bus shelter. I said, why don't we go under there? But Jenny was like, well... There's a Hilton Hotel literally just there. Why don't, Why don't we, we go in and there? ask or go in and try and do it there or ask reception and maybe somebody could help us. So long story short, because this could go on for a while, but basically we just went into the Hilton. We Jenny kindly asked at reception, said we're not guests here, but we've just literally had an issue with our wheelchair outside. I can't walk very far. The wheelchair is like broken. Could you get the maintenance team to maybe come and have a look at it could for us? Could we borrow some tools to try and do yeah. it ourselves? Or could somebody just have a look? And, um, and They were really nice, weren't they? They were incredible. So the maintenance team came. First guy tried to fix it, realised he couldn't. Went back, got his manager, who initially came over. And he was like, mm, he said, bad news, I'm afraid. Because of like insurance reasons and that, mm -hmm. we can't actually fix it for you. But we can show you how. Like, uh, completely understood. But then he was like... Actually, you know what? He said, if I can get you to sign like a disclaimer or something, then I can have a look at it for to you. To say like if it were to break, you know, in 20 minutes time and you were to injure yourself or it, that kind of thing. And we were like, yeah, no problem. Sign away. He honestly, Obviously, we're not going to sue them. Not problem. <laughs> yeah, he honestly couldn't have been like nicer. He then he led us. so nice. He then said, do you want to drink? And by, we'd already been given a bottle of water by the um, by the person behind reception. We were like, oh, yeah, that's great. But we were like, no, we're all good. We don't need to drink. That's fine. And he was like, well, it's probably going to take about half an hour or so. I assume he had other jobs and stuff. Um, mm. But we were a bit like, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. He was like, well, actually, no, come with me. You can you can go into the lounge. And we were like, kind of like, Yeah, he really? let us in the exec lounge. and Because we were cold and we were wet and we were by the doors to the Hilton. So we were getting a draft. Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, no, no, it's warm in here. Help yourself to like beers, wine, food. And we didn't want to take the pee because obviously we weren't guests. We no. definitely weren't exec guests. So... I grabbed a Coke and I think I tried to make you a coffee and I did it wrong. But it, <laughs> it, was, it was a very confusing. confusing machine. But really, we didn't want to, obviously, you know, we weren't going to start drinking alcohol and stuff, like I say, because we weren't guests and we weren't exec guests. But yeah. we waited in there probably about 35 minutes and eventually came back through with the sheet, the disclaimer, and he fixed it miraculously. Yes. Um, which was really good. Um, as it was, I don't think he actually realised we weren't guests of the hotel in the end. Uh, but we had we did specify twice to be I, fair. I, I um, went up to reception. I told them. I also told the original maintenance guy. So whether it got lost in communication, mm. I don't know. I was like, but if you don't ask, you don't get. And we were really nice, yeah. really thankful. Um, and he was really nice. And to be yeah. fair, he didn't really mind in the end when he, he didn't knew. know. So, oh well, but. I don't, like, he, whether he would have done it or not if he knew for definite we weren't guests, I don't know. But ultimately, it just goes to show that, like, there are a lot of kind people out there. And what he did for us today was a real lifesaver because we would have been mm. very stuck otherwise. We probably yeah. would have had to... I mean, we were actually looking up wheelchairs, weren't we, to buy a new one? <gasps> you and, could like, do a click and collect for Argos, like, tomorrow morning. And just logistically, it would have been a nightmare. Um, so, no, he, he was so nice, wasn't he? And we're so, so grateful. And here we are telling you, Hilton in Liverpool, how good they were. Amazing. So, you know. Amazing customer service. Obviously, we're not staying there now, but, um, you know, money permitting, we would do in future because they're, they're you know, really, really good staff, really yeah. helpful. Um, but, no, overall, that was our, our little... I say horror story in the middle of the day. It doesn't sound it quite as bad. It, it did was last quite over an hour. We had to amend our dinner dinner booking about three times. And that, by the way, was really good. The Thai restaurant amazing. Yeah. at Rosa, it's called, which, like I said, is a chain. Um, but it was on the Albert Docks again, which is where we spent most of our day before we mm -hmm. ventured into the town centre, uh, city centre a little bit. But yeah, so we're, like I say, we're in a Premier Inn in Warrington now. We just wanted somewhere a bit out of the way, a bit cheaper. Tomorrow the plan is we're just going to grab breakfast here um, and then we're probably just going to have a really chill one in the morning, Jenny. We'll take about seven hours to get ready probably for the year's tour. Um, Maybe not seven. <laughs> so we're just going to have a really nice chill day in the room because I know there's lots of stuff to do in Liverpool, but especially with the wheelchair being a little bit funny now, we don't want to attempt mm -hmm. fate and push it. And also we want to have a leisurely morning. I think we can get to the accessible hospitality for around 4pm. We're allowed to get in. But you want to buy merch, so oh yeah, obviously we might get 
aim to get to Anfield for about 3 p.m. But obviously Taylor Swift was performing tonight, which was really cool. We couldn't hear her as we were driving away, which is a bit of a shame. We wanted to see if we could hear, but... It was a really windy uh, night, and I said yeah. to him the wind was going, like, away from us. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't think we're going to hear it. But this is already six minutes and it's not even a proper outro. But it's been a really, really good uh, day in Liverpool, despite the terrible weather, despite the issue with the wheelchair. Uh, everyone's been really friendly. We've had a great time, great so, food. People are so nice. Just people on the street, members of staff at places you go, they're all lovely. So Let us know in the comments if, if you're like us and you're from down south. Do you find people up north to be a lot friendlier than what we're used to? Because I certainly do. We said it in Manchester last year that we found everyone was really pleasant and more polite. We've also found it here in Liverpool as well. We're from kind of like a, you know, friendlier sort of countryside area, but yeah, still... we live in the country now, don't we? <laughs> we do. But I still feel like down south, I don't know, it seems like it's not as friendly as up north. I don't know, maybe that's a sweeping generalisation, but that's just our experience, I think, so far. But anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for the start of the Year's Tour Day. <laughs>
You Belong With Me was like my third, no, it wasn't my first ever Taylor Swift song I got into. Oh, this is such a loaded question. Um, okay, Fearless, You Belong With Me. Um, oh my God, I like Red, the song and the album. Mm -hmm. um, All Too Well, 10 minute version from the vault. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even know. Out of the woods, is it over now? Now that we don't talk, I'm very much fearless. Oh God, speak now, the entire album is speak now. Um, I'm very much fearless, speak now, 1989, red, like that's kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate every single album in its glory, but that's my faves. But that's such a hard question, Liam. I know, well, I'll, I'll give you my top three whilst you think of your surprise ones that you okay. want. Oh gosh, yeah, okay. So my top three songs would be um, Out of the Woods, which actually isn't even in the Eras tour, maybe a surprise song, um, and then Delicate, which is obviously from Reputation, and uh, Love Story, which I know is obviously a classic and an old one, but um, that was one of the few Taylor Swift songs that years and years ago that I really liked. So they're the kind of big three that mm -hmm. I kind of go for. Mm -hmm. Thought more about your surprise songs? It would have been crazier from the Hannah Montana movie. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that hurt hard when she sang that in Edinburgh. Um, but now, I, again, I would have wanted mine. That's another one of my favorites, which she sang last night. Um, I, I really want Red. I have a good feeling that yeah. we might get Red because Anfield, Liverpool, Red. Um, but Is It Over Now, Out of the Woods mashup would be really good. In terms of on the piano, I again don't know. She sang Cornelia Street last night, which I would have wanted. Um, but I'm just happy to soak up the vibes, to be fair. I'm yeah. just, I'm there to enjoy it. Mine's a bit of a cop out too, because I, I don't really know like what works on like the piano, what works on the guitar, but I would say personally, I want, I'd love to have like Out of the Woods incorporated some way uh, and Red, I'd also be happy with. I feel like Red should be in the era store playlist anyway in my opinion but um there's obviously a reason for that but that would probably be yeah my two that would be mm. is it over now as well maybe without the woods would work quite well so yeah they're mine i would have said mine as well but obviously that was last night so highly unlikely we were watching that. the live stream i'm not gonna lie guys i watched the live stream <laughs> every night not all the way through but like just to the, the surprise, surprise songs, songs bit, yeah, yeah. And um, oh, I knew she was going to do I Can See You. And then I was waiting for it. I was like, please don't do mine. Please don't do mine. And then she went, uh, uh, oh. I was like, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, I mean, I watched it, so I still got to enjoy it. But yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, so it should be good. I just thought we'd do kind of a little bit of talking just about Taylor Swift generally before we're there. Because it's probably going to be a bit chaotic, maybe mm -hmm. a bit montage -y more than anything. Because we basically, our plan is now, obviously, we're in Warrington. It's about a 35-minute drive to um anfield give and take with traffic we're parking at stanley park we're fortunate to get accessible parking um so we're going to go and park there then hopefully quite nearby there there should be a merchandise location see if we can go and pick up some merch and then hopefully make our way slowly in and uh hopefully get into anfield but like i say i'll probably be a bit montagey i'll try and chat to you show you bits here and there uh, but yeah we're very excited this concert's been a long time coming hasn't it yeah, so, yeah. now to make liam finish those uh tiktok transitions that i made him do earlier yeah he's really good at editing them though like i i'm the brains and he's the i'm the brains i'm the editor no i come up with the ideas and oh, you do it okay what so i'm you? like the tech monkey yeah okay yeah right. you're my little well minion. there you go but that's what we're gonna do now and then we're gonna head off you excited i'm very excited the jewels are looking very nice they're, they're still on they're still on sure they one fell off in the bedroom didn't it but... yeah i replaced it very quickly didn't i yeah probably won't be any left at the end of the night <laughs> that's all right yeah nearly on the motorway the sun is coming out, guys. The weather's nice today. Woohoo! So, we could not really be much closer to Anfield. I think that's the pathway we go to over there. And then we're in, and we also got a wheelchair space as well. Um, but yeah, it's a Stanley car car park. We had to book this, pre book this, and we allocated it, and we showed a QR code and everything. And yeah, we're here now. Very exciting. So we just stopped there at the uh, official merchandise. We did queue, we were told we didn't actually need to, but it wasn't too long away, luckily. Um, I think we've arrived at a good time, but do you want to show what you've got? Secured the goods. I'm not going to lie, it was quite expensive, but no regrets. Don, I already Don, what was the away. damage? Uh, didn't, do you know what? She didn't even tell me the price. I just tapped. I think it was 170 All <laughs> oh, right. right, okay. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, pull it all out. It's a once in a lifetime. Too, so I think we're going to share this. I'll zoom out a bit. Yeah, I like that. The sizes are a bit weird, aren't they? They're really oversized, yeah. We've got the um, dates on the back. I really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like I that a lot. you'd like that one. Yeah. Uh, I have my eyes on this one. The quarter zip. Quarter zip. Nice, there. nice. Do you want to show the back as well? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Classic Era's Tour logo. Perfect. It does. Nice, nice. Um, and then I got the uh, 
the beige, the cream t-shirt. There you go. Uh, again, the ears on the. Does it have anything on the back? Yeah, it's got um, the, the dates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, all the sizes are really strange. Like this, I went for a medium. The quarter zip, I think, is a large, and the crew neck is either a medium or a large. Um, but I mean, I've seen people say they're a UK 14 and they bought an extra large, but then they bought an extra small. I don't know. It's all over the place. Um, but either way, they let you hold it up against you, which is nice. Um, it's really busy, wasn't it? You can like, see kind of over there, there is kind of just you. pushing, you just kind of, well, stand up to the counter. And like I said, they did say to us, oh, you could have just cut in this side and we were actually down there, but. I mean, the queue wasn't that long. Know. And obviously just because I'm in the chair and I can struggle with mobility and stuff, like it doesn't necessarily mean I have to have done the queue and I don't want to assume that. Um, it's nice of them to offer, definitely. So it's if just, you are someone who like does struggle to queue and I suppose if you've got like an access card or, yeah. you know, you struggle with autism, mobility, etc. Et I don't know I'm if sure that's just, just a Liverpool thing or I assume if you're going to like Wembley or wherever, um, then potentially you could uh, bypass the kind of merchandise queues if you've got accessibility needs. So just bear that in mind. But yeah, well done, you happy with that? Really happy, yeah. Got everything I wanted and the sizes I wanted and it's only 25 past three. There so, you go, good stuff. Yeah, good timing. Also, I have four sequins still on this side, or jewels rather. Just got the one on this side, sadly. So they have been falling off, but it was expected to happen. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to head up this path up here um, and we're going to go along the other side of Anfield and uh, I think she said it's near like Paisley Square or something, there's a lift and that should take us up to the area where the hospitality entrance is and we're apparently going to be greeted by people in suits so it sounds very smart and sophisticated um, but yeah we're really happy we got here at the time we did. I just, if you are going to uh, the year store anywhere obviously allow yourself plenty of time whether you're at uh, hospitality accessible or whatever just to get your merchandise get food sorted go to the toilet etc and just soak up the atmosphere so we're really lucky with the weather as you can see blue sky so very happy with that but we're going to make our move over towards uh, the hospitality entrance now and just like that we're at Anfield well the actual stadium we've already been at Anfield but yeah look at that it's a really cool stadium uh, oh yeah it's just there players entrance cool so it seems pretty well organized so far I'd say um, out of breath, we just had to wheel up a hill. <laughs> but yeah, now we're gonna head, I think, down that way now and uh, hopefully get into the stadium. Look at that. Our complimentary drink upon arrival. So we've arrived in the gold package lounge. Cheers. Cheers. I, got for, I just went for a Coke because um, I'm obviously driving, but you get a complimentary drink on arrival, which is pretty cool, isn't it? And then I'll try and talk above the music, but you've got all of the food stands right down there. So we'll have to explore them shortly. I'm quite hungry, I don't know about you. I know, me too. You impressed? Yeah, really impressed. I've never done hospitality like this, so I'm buzzing. Very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Katsu Katsu curry. Curry. Yeah, nice. Went for the gnocchi. Is it vegan or vegetarian? Uh, vegan, I think. Yeah, gnocchi with nice. Mediterranean veg. With some veg, it's lovely. I went for a classic burger, a bacon cheeseburger. I got some mayo on the side too. There's a lot of options and it's starting to get a bit busier in here now, isn't it? Receiving the drink, the person buying the drink will be fine. So please, Very nice. we with you. So I'm trying to work my way through the different food stands slowly. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, At least yeah. you're wearing dark clothes. <laughs> Why do you think I got this one? Why do you think I went for a cuisine? Yeah, I got some pork pork. It does come in like a, a bao bun kind of thing, but I just wanted some by itself because it's quite filling. And uh, some coleslaw. Uh, I got my eye on the sticky toffee pudding after. I'm not bad on sticky toffee pudding. These are the dates and raisins and stuff. I wish there was another dessert. I was saying to Liam, I wish there was like a churro one or something. But yeah, how is it? Is it nice? It's nice. Instead of getting, I'm getting my money back now. <laughs> Over and over again, they're doing great. Basically, they like some more magic. Last but not least, <laughs> I've been working my way through them. I got and toffee pudding. We didn't have lunch today, and you can't, they all shut at like 7 pm or 7 30, so I was like, I might as well get myself full now because I'm not hungry during the concert, and I certainly won't be, but it's like a toffee custard and a cream. Good. Well, it's rich. Nice Do you think I'll like it or? I think you will, yeah. You can't really taste dates in that. Oh, I know, but can you see? No, not really. 
Mm. Go on, have a bite. Mm. Maybe I'll try the cream. So, we've got to our sea, and we're we quite impressed, aren't we? We have such an amazing view, I'm so Let's excited. Show you the view. Not bad, huh? You happy with that? I'm blown away. I'm <laughs> absolutely blown away. Even got a little uh, bench to put the drinks on. I know, I can put my glasses on there, so every time I need them like this, I can already. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, got a great view. I think Paramore are going to be on in about 15, 20 minutes, so. Yeah, it'll probably be a bit montagey, but we'll show you some of the show and uh, yeah. Sure, it's not as mod down there as I thought it would be. Like, There's quite a lot of space still, isn't there? I mean, that's what, like maybe eight rows of people? I thought it'd be like, I don't know what things are, I thought it'd be like out to here, so yeah. I'm very impressed actually. I can't wait for it to, uh, was it, dive into the, the water. Um, yeah, between... we've got a, we'll have a good view of yeah, that. Oh, so I can't wait. Brilliant view.
kind of imagining different people with different lives and different feelings. And um, when I was writing this album, I really, I had a very weird um, thing come over me where when I would finish writing a song that I was really proud of and really loved, I would get this sense of sadness because um, I didn't know at that time what the future was for concerts. Like if I'd ever get to stand in a stadium and, and play these songs and have you sing the words back to me. So it's it's pretty emotional for me, honestly, that, um, that we all get to be here doing this. tour is over i can't believe it it was literally the best concert we have ever done most ever. definitely it's absolutely incredible we're filming this quite well several weeks later um mm. sorry it's taken a bit of time to get this video up but even now i was just you know thinking about it it's just incredible wasn't it such a great night no i literally felt like a 12 year old girl like reliving all the eras like it was great yeah really amazing i mean if you've obviously already seen it you'll know what we're talking about if you're yet to see uh, the eras tour well you're in for an amazing night because it was incredible. Really Nothing it. like it. Very quickly, favourite era on the night? Oh, God, I don't know. Mine's Tortured Post Department. It actually oh. really threw me, like, really took me by surprise. I think Fearless. How good it was. Fearless. Okay. Yeah, I think Fearless. Well, it just, yeah, it, it went like that. Like, before I knew it, like, um, 1989 was on, and I was like, I said to Liam, I was like, oh, my God, the night's over, basically. 
But no, yeah, we literally had the best time. Yeah, for a three-hour concert, it did, like, zip by. It was... Uh... And, like, trading bracelets with people. And, like, I said to him, it felt like being a Disney park. Like, all the Swifties, like, everyone's just so nice, throwing compliments out there, taking mm -hmm. pictures of each other. Like, mm -hmm. it's all just so friendly. Like, it's couldn't ask to be part of a better community in my, in my eyes. No, exactly. Incredible night. Taylor Swift, incredible. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching along. Um, and... Well, the next vlog will likely be our honeymoon. Um, so wow. we will see you in that. We'll hopefully have some a couple of exciting things to come before then in terms of some um, like preview videos and stuff like that. But for now, um, yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.